So we'll continue from where we stopped last time. Um, if you've not watched the um, part one of this video, you go watch it and it's something like this. So I did something like this. We are in your presence. Let it rain. Oh, come and rain. Okay. Come. Let it rain on us. We are in your presence. Okay, okay, let's go back. So, so I did something like this. We are in your presence. Let it rain. Oh, come and rain. Let it rain. I stopped. Let it rain. So we, I stopped in the other. We are in your presence. So um, we started this um in the series. So I'm going to continue there right away. Let it rain on us. Okay, so we are in your presence. So Starting from here. Okay, you can watch the previous video together. Okay. Then it so then it rain. It's oh, right there. Yeah, so rain. the same thing as you did the first time. So let it rain. So your left hand is playing one, your right hand is playing your three, three, five, seven, eight, ten. Um I'm playing on the key of F. This is a number pattern, you can transcribe it. So let's go. So then, so then the same thing. I showed you this. Oh. I showed you this in the other video, so you just you apply this. Now, now you're playing um you're playing your 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 left hand is playing your five, while your right hand you're playing your Three, two, four, five, six, eight. Then the first one you're playing two, four, five, six, eight. Then the second one you, you, you're now playing two, four, five, seven. So more like a chord replacement for your. For, for, uh, so remember two four five six seven eight then two four five seven so let me just take it there so there oh we are so there you go so come and rain on us come and rain on us you're playing something like oh sorry take it back so you're playing come and rain on us this on your left hand you're playing your your one on your the right hand you're playing your three three five six eight ten so um so this then there's a passing Six five, then you not play this, you not play. So you do. So, so as you're going to your five, you're playing this chord together. So it's more like a passing chord. So the chord you play when you get to your five is um, you play your five flat seven, nine and um eleven. So, so you get it. So you do something like that. When you do, you not you not play anything. You not play. This is your um nine eight. But when you get to your eight, you don't play anything when you're on your nine. But when you get to your eight, there's something you play. So you do just something like this. You know, you play on your five. Okay, 
to to where you get to your eight you play on your right hand you play your five eight nine twelve so let's go then you now do something like this you don't play anything when you play your you, know, you play the last chord so you're only playing when you're playing your five eight and your four there are other notes you add but you only play when you're when you so you do something like so this note is um five three four five three four then when you get your four on your right hand you play so uh Six, eight, ten. Okay. So let's go back again. So you see it now. So very easy. Very easy. So, so you get it. So that you call the play game. both hands but if you cannot do it with both hands you just play the chord so you just do something show you passing chords around here so to fall in so this one so this is what I did I did something sounds cool right so I did um, so let's go again so to this fall in show you the passing chord to get to your four so the first one I did is this on your left hand you're playing your um, you're playing your flat five on your right hand you're playing your flat five six flat and flat nine ten the second move you're playing your five on your right hand you're playing your five flat seven nine eleven I did something like this. So the first one is this. I'm showing you this. I'm showing you the second one. So the third movement is this. Uh, uh, one, two. The third movement is this. Uh, one, two, three. Um, on your right hand, you on your left hand, you're playing your flat six. On your right hand, you're playing your flat six, eight, flat ten. Movement is it? 
on your right hand, your, on your left hand, you're playing your six. On your right hand, you're playing your six flat nine and um, ten. Six flat nine ten. So this is the fourth movement. So you have one, two, three, four. Then the fifth one. On your right, left hand, you're playing your flat seven. While on your right hand, you're playing your flat seven flat seven nine and eleven so you do something like this so i think that's the last one so i think it's a one two three four five about five chords you play before you get to your four so you have to be timely conscious there so let's go you play your left hand your left hand is playing your four and your right hand is playing your six eight ten um thirteen okay, so let's do it Something special about that, that's just what I want to show you about this chord. Okay. So, so I'm going to show you, I'm going to show you a passing chord here, but the passing chord mostly dwells on your bass line. So, so, so you see what I did? Show you again one more time. One more time, one last time. Okay, so I did something like this. Now you're not breathing. You won't breathe when you play this. Did I play six flat six five um six flat six five nine eight thirteen twelve then um eight five three four that's what I played so you get it so um let's go Of doing that, so so you're only going to strike. You're striking. You can strike this chord. The chord you strike when you're doing that is um your five five eight nine twelve. Strike it two times before you get to your four. Remember, I've already given you the chord replacement for your four. This is four. You know, your right hand, you're playing your uh, six. Eight ten. So let's go. So okay. So when you're doing, I'll show you something. So you do something like this. So this is what I do. Okay, I didn't do that. 
So I just want to bye. So so when you do your four, when you do that. Before you play your That's it, that's how you play it, and you look special, it looks cool and interesting. So, um, if you've not subscribed to my channel, please subscribe to my channel because I'll, I'll be breaking down some other um, worship tutorials. And I think I'm done with this worship tutorial. So, you go apply it, apply it, and drop a comment, tell me how you feel about this tutorial. Share this tutorial to your friends, yeah. Don't be stingy, don't be greedy about this, you know. People have to learn about this, you have to spice up your worship. Drop a comment, like this video, and let's reach out to more people. Okay, so taking a rundown from what I did from the start. We are in your presence. Let it rain. Oh, come rain. Let it rain. Showing you in my next video on this same song, I have to spice it up. I have to, you know, I have to add more spice. So if I don't get enough likes, I don't get enough comment, I may not drop that video. So subscribe. I'm going to show you something like this.